Hey kids, it's Bought Grizzly's Happy Funland! Happy Funland is laid out like the four cardinal directions of the compass. To the north is Fancyland. Filled with enough whimsy to tickle any child's fancy. To the east is Western Land, land of the outlaws. To the south is Anytown Plaza, USA. An authentic recreation of turn of the century theme retail. To the west is Danger Land, a land of perilous danger. You and your whole family will enjoy a happy and fun escape from your sad and futile life at more busy happy fun land. You had never heard of Happy Funland Theme Park. Why its tragic tale when you agreed to meet a total stranger named Larry in the middle of a South Florida swamp? Perhaps if you had known about the grisly events that happened there, you wouldn't have agreed to the job. <laughs> Everyone do, chicks, dudes, whatever. Yep, so I'm Larry. Thanks for answering my ad. Look, I know it's real hard to find someone willing to beat some random crazy stranger out in the middle of the swamp at night and all like this, so I do appreciate you coming. Well now, look at you. Yeah, you'll do just fine. <laughs> so, the first thing we need to do here is have you strap this wireless video camera on top of your head. This here will allow me to see, hear, and record everything you do. And I can talk at you over the headphones. I'll fill you in on more of the rest of the plan as we go. Here, put this on. All right, got a signal. Video looks pretty dark, though. Hmm. You know, when I told you to meet me here at night, I kind of forgot about the whole it being dark thing and all. So, you're probably going to want to have a flashlight. There's one in my toolbox on that crate over there by the fence near my truck. Why don't you go over there and get it? Anyways, it being dark and all just helps set the proper mood and such. Plus, it just seemed to be easier for sneaking in, cover of darkness and all. Flashlights just in the red toolbox right there. That should come in handy for you. So anyways, like I said in my ad, I needed someone to explore and videotape this abandoned theme park I found out here called Happy Fun Land. You ever hear of it? Probably not. It was closed and abandoned in the early 70s. See, I make online videos where I explore abandoned places and things, and I usually would just do it myself, but I came out here last month to do just that, but I didn't make it too far till boom! Damn gator chop off both my legs. Oh yeah, you better believe it's been hell. I thought my videographing days were over, and my video channel would start losing followers. But this here find is way too big to walk away from, even if I could still walk. So that's where I came up with this idea for just having a wireless video headset and all, and just hiring someone else, like you, with legs, to explore the place for me. So come on, hop on the boat, and we can get started. So this here dock was the closest point of entry I could find out of here just outside the government property. They got this whole place locked down pretty good with left side fences and all. If they still got power, there must still be power going to the park. Now I happen to know a fat way. 
Now, don't you worry about being attacked by gators out here or nothing. As long as you're careful and keep an eye on them, you should be just fine. Just don't be stupid like I was, and you should be able to walk away from this on your own two legs. So now we're crossing on the Grizzly Company property and are technically immediately trespassing and all, but don't you even worry about that. Pretty sure they don't even control this place that much anymore. There's another billboard for the park. Park Grizzly, Happy Funland, home of Randy Road. You ever heard anything about Fort Grizzly or Randy Rope? Or about that terrible tragedy that closed this whole place down? So, they, bats just like blind rats, little rodents with demon wings is what they is. There's the old entrance to the parking lot. That used to be the main way in, but you can't even access that road from the freeway no more. The road's gone all over ground. After that tragedy, the company just pulled out and shut the whole park down. They supposedly tore it all down too, but really, it all looks like they just tried to bury the whole thing out of here in the swamp and left it to rot. Is that? No, that's, the, that's not the one that took my legs. Too small. Something that took my legs was twice the size I reckon. And jacked up on me. Alright, we're almost here now. Just up ahead. There it is. Your entryway into the fun park. Just follow that storm drain all the way down and it'll lead you right to the main electrical room where you can hopefully get the power back on for the whole park. I admit, ain't most sanitary that the way in, but he'll do you. Oh, and we can discuss your payment after you get all the footage I need. Fair enough. Once you get that pile restored, you should be able to explore the whole place. Right on some rides and stuff. You like fun parks, right? Well, this should be fun. You should consider the fun you'll have here as part of Now, that's definitely some freaky freak. Well, probably just the wind. You ain't scared of no balloon, are you? Anyways, this thing park you're breaking into here was built by a guy named Mort Grizzly. Well, I don't mean built like installing the framing and doing the drywalling or nothing like that. No, he was a big money. He worked no animator or nothing like that Walt Disney fella. No, Mort Grizzly made his fortunes in firearms, alcohol, and tobacco products. Randy Roden was a Grizzly Tobacco Company's cartoon cigarette pitch man. You know, the hook that kid. Hey, what's that? Some kind of Randy Roden shrine or something? This stuff weren't. What's that note cut? Destroy Randy Roden figures? I guess you should probably do that too then. Oh, Mother Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and Eileen, where the hell did that thing come from? Damn, they're so up my drawer. About sport my best trousers. What is that? Some kind of crazy Randy Roden headed mannequin? I swear I didn't put it there, dude. So this is about as far as I got the last time I tried breaking in here. I was a tunneling into the electrical room up there when that damn gator came up behind me and chopped off both my damn legs. <sighs> well, I beat him off me and all. Had to crawl myself back to my boat, losing half my blood along the way and all. It was pretty brutal. But this is where I found my random hat though, so it weren't the total on it. I think I lost communications there with you for a bit. Good job taking some initiative and getting that power back on and all. Looks like you're just about to the front entrance. Up. There's a happy fun land sign. Another one of them weird ass balloons. Ah, damn! Watch out for that sucker. Don't get up on him. Just let him pass. Keep your legs on. Just let him pass. There's one of them old timey photo booths over there too. 
Maybe you can save your memories of tonight's little adventure in any one of them booths. All right, you're at the Happy Funland main entrance. Hard to believe this is all still standing out here and all, huh? This is really going to help me out with my scheme. I, I mean, my followers. Help me get more followers for my video channel. See, I had a lot of time to learn up on this place while my legs was healing. They say they had this whole place almost completely automated. Very few actual human employees. Mostly robots or audio automatons, they call those things. I guess they were very... Looks like you're gonna need a ticket to get in. Poke around back at one of those ticket booths. Maybe you can buy one there. Ticket dispensed. All right, you got a ticket. Go give it to that auto automaton, that Tommy and Tom Tiny Tay Tiny Tim thing at the front gate. Hell, you know what I'm talking about, that thing with water. Thank you. This ticket is solid. Have a fun and happy time at Fort Grizzly's Happy Fun Land. All right, you're in. Fort Grizzly's Happy Fun Land. Never thought I'd see this. Hey, looks like there's a map over there. Go check it out. All right, dude. You got a map and a mini golf scorecard. Yeah, they got this whole area all blurred out on the googly earth and all. Just looks like empty swampland on there. Can't see any of all this what's here. So I guess they were originally going to call this place Grizzly Link. Ball and hole opens gate. Hmm. I guess that means mini golf game. Try that out, I guess. You might want to hold on to that putter. Could make a decent weapon if you might need one. Huh, not sure why they would have the doors tied into the mini golf, but whatever.
Well, shit. Looks like you're trapped in there now. Well, don't get all freaky freaky on me. Everything's still going according to plan. We're just switching to plan B, and I'm going to figure out what that is. So for you, that means just keep exploring the whole place. I got the recorder running, so the video should be perfectly fine. Just keep it going, and don't be scared or not. Ah, uh, dang it. Well, looks like you're trapped in the gift shop now. Well, don't just stand around lying the gagging. Look around for a way to get those security gates open again. I don't want to be out here all night. Damn, ran a road of merchandise. It would probably have been worth some money online, though. those things. Probably best you just destroy them then. I think you did it. Good to see you ain't as incompetent as I first took you for. Whoa, there he is. Mort Grizzly statue. I can see the resemblance. I mean, sure, he killed a lot of people with his products and all. Firearms, alcohol, tobacco, theme park. But overall, not a bad looking man. I imagine one man's greed, huh? I Phew, look at all this fancy stuff. Take your time looking around at all this stuff in here. We might learn something interesting. Born Warner Abaddon Jersey, June 6, 1906. He became Fort Worth, got his start in 1920 as entrepreneurial. You have to have a one to let rise and boil. Stand in the way of profit. The Grizzly Firearms Company made many lucrative contracts in the war profiteers. The 1950s brought more fortune to grip. The 19th, the 1960s were turbulent times for America and for more Grizzly as well. Many lawsuits were brought against Mort and the Grizzly companies by state and federal governments. During a meeting with the heads of the New York families in 1964, which happened to be at the New York World, sensing untapped potential in the lucrative youth market, the Grizzly construction was built and resulted in many workers. Most of the Hey, I think I know now what to be my spot. You better hurry and find a way out of here or you'll be killed by this spot. Look. 
great job saving the video headset and edge your life and all, but that great footage you're sending, keep it up. Hey, is that mouse trapped I see there on the floor? You might want to be careful with your toes around those. Oh, Fox Road away the Hall Park Open in 1965. Mark's daughter tragically died in the free stop dead the accident park. That left Mark haunted for the rest of his life. He began to work extensively with the teachers could stand the work for school. Holy shit, dude, I've seen it all! Damn, my tummy times are alive. Holy shit. Hmm, maybe the storm power to the park weren't the best idea I ever had. Probably brought those guys back to life, maybe. Well, too late now. We need a plan three. Hmm. Ah, uh, hang on a second. One of my girlies calling. Hey, you get it? It's good? Oh, you know I want some. Yeah, just hang on to it. I'll be right over. Ah, uh, gee, yep. You want to? Oh, this excitement out here has made me real hungry. First, I'm going back to the dock and go get me some food or something, because I'm really starving right now and need to go get something to eat. But once I do, I'll come back out here again and scout out another way in or something, and hopefully you'll still be alive and all, and you'll just meet me there. All right? All right. Good luck. There's a burger place I know of close by, so it shouldn't take me too long. Anyways, I got the recorder running, so the video should be perfectly fine. You just keep going and exploring the park and all, and I'll be back for you real soon, all right? And don't let my headset get broke. 10-4 then. Larry out for now. Thank you. 